Hey everybody. So uh, what I wanted to share with you today is uh, something I've been playing with. This is Gino MIDI Sequencer. And uh, you can find a really, really great walkthrough of actually how the app works. Uh, Tim at Discord did a really, really great uh, walkthrough, so you should check that video out. Um, what I'm going to do today is show you how I've integrated Genome into my home studio with my other iOS devices. So I've got my iPad 2, I've got an iPhone 4, and an iPod Touch 4th generation. And uh, what's happening here is I've set up a whole bunch of patterns in this uh, pattern sequencer. And basically what I'm going to do is uh, send a bunch of different patterns to different devices. Now, inside the iPad 2, I'm running the Nlog Pro Synth, Arctic Keys, and BS16i, which is a really, really cool sound font app. Uh, and it lets me load up to 16 different sounds. And I'm just using general sound fonts for standard drum kits and pianos and that kind of thing. So let me show you sort of what's going on here. The first thing I can show you is a drum part. Sounds like this. Whoops, and a dulcimer. That's all coming from BS16i. Here's another one. There's also a Mellotron. Another Mellotron flute. And some piano. So that's pretty cool. Um, now this is where things get really, really interesting. In the MIDI section, I look at my network MIDI and I can hook up nearby devices. So I've got my iPhone and my fourth generation iPod Touch, both connected. The iPhone is running Sunriser, that awesome bass patch we love. And uh, the iPod Touch is running Arctic Keys cool little thing there. Not only that, but I've also got through the iRig MIDI the little fatty hooked up. So, it's getting a bit crazy here. So basically what I'm going to do is just start sending loops to different places. Here is the Sunriser. And what I've done there is I've set uh, the iPhone to come in on MIDI channel 8. And MIDI channel 9 is what Arctic Keys on the iPod Touch is running. And here it is. Now track 7 is not only going to Nlog Pro, uh, for a little bit of a Moog sound, but I'm actually sending it as well to the actual Moog. So the Moog little fatty is actually happening in the left side. You can see. So that's pretty cool. Running it uh, to not only the N-Log but the actual little fatty as well because they're both uh, receiving on MIDI channel 7 and this is sending that one track to MIDI channel 7. So it's all about sending the right channels to the right apps. So let's throw it all together. The only other thing I haven't put in here yet, I actually have um, Arctic Key, oh no, Sunriser, no Arctic Keys, getting confused, running on the iPad itself with just a bass patch. So, now I'm going to attempt to throw it all together for you.
Anyway, I just thought I would show you how uh, I can integrate Genome into two iOS devices in addition to the iPad, as well as an actual hardware piece. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.